We um, not so much what, about what they're doing. Obviously, they they got guys that we got to worry about. But uh, you know, it's be another one of those nights where the you know, lineups are probably going to change. Uh, obviously, uh, some of our guys are not playing. Rondé's not going to play. Dad is not going to play tonight. So we haven't figured out who's going to start yet. We're going to talk about it before we meet with them. But uh, it'll be, be some different pieces out there. You talk about different pieces, and now with the lineup, uh, what are some of the things you've seen out of these younger players that have had had opportunities? You mentioned Shane and Sergey lately, but even like a Chris McCullough, Markel Brown, some of these guys who've gotten some extra time. Well, um, we have a little bit more uh, speed and athleticism on the court, which is always a plus for us. Um, you know, their energy level has been has been up since they've been getting the quality minutes, and uh, we want to hopefully continue that. Um, but, you know, just the overall play, I think the chain has been great. He's pushing the tempo, getting the ball up the floor. He's had some good chemistry with Brooke Lopez in the low post and pick and roll. So, uh, obviously, we want to continue that. Um, but, you know, more than anything, the, the, the ball movement and the pace that we're playing at and the ball, body movement that we're having is um, always a plus, and we want to continue to do that. Are they uh, both not playing just because of rest? I said I didn't want to play them, no. <laughs> we try to be conscious with Rondé, back-to-back uh, -back situations. We obviously don't want to overload him. And this dad just giving him a, a night off. Is Wayne a possibility? Uh, Wayne will probably get some time tonight, yes. What was it that you had wanted to see, I guess, more from him for him to get his to get more minutes? It's not so much what I needed from him. I think we've, we've got a pretty good, you know, uh, database of what he's been giving us most of the year. And uh, so it's not... Him not playing is not a knock on him. I just think organization-wise, we're just trying to feel out some of the other guys on the roster. With the way you guys have been playing since, since around the All-Star All -Star break, how do you keep the guys motivated to finish, finish the season strong? Job security. <laughs> that simple? It's important if you want to be in the league. And uh, I don't think, other than a couple of guys, we don't have guys with long-term contracts. So um, use your opportunity to, you know, to help you keep your job. Last year, Bogey uh, finished well in the second half of the season, and it looks like he's doing that again. But has he taken even another step forward since he's kind of since Joe's not here and he's kind of stepping into those shoes a little? Bit? Well, he's benefited obviously. Joe's not being here. His minute probably I don't know the number, but it's, it's probably increased since Joe's been gone. But I think more than anything, the play the play that we've been uh, having of late with our ball club has benefited him as well. So the tempo, the pace frees him up to be more of an attacking type player than, than a player that's just waiting on the perimeter to find the ball. And um, he's taking advantage of that. We're trying to run more stuff to get him more touches. And uh, he's thrived in that, in that environment. And uh, we just want to keep him playing great, hopefully, for the rest of his last few games.